This is humanity's first permanent colony in the Jovian system. And it's not on a planet. It's on the frozen volcanic world of Io, year 2100. Humanity has reached beyond Mars, beyond the asteroid belt, to the gas giant Jupiter, and its 95 moons. We've selected four targets for colonization, Ganymede, Europa, Callisto, and Io, each with its own challenges, each with its own potential. But why now? Because Earth is running out of room, and Mars though the first won't be enough. So we're building the next chapter of civilization around the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter so massive, it holds more than twice the material of all other planets combined. Its gravity is crushing, its radiation deadly, its magnetic field immense. So we orbit it carefully. We live on its moons, and we start with the outpost, Horizon Station. Horizon Station orbits above Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, larger than Mercury. It's the only moon with its own magnetic field and a suspected subsurface ocean. This makes it the best candidate for human life. The journey begins in low Earth orbit. The cargo departs first five fusion-powered freighters. Each one carries modular structures, life support domes, advanced AI rovers, and nuclear fission reactors. Then comes the crew. Aboard the interplanetary ship Odyssey equipped with a next-gen ion propulsion system, they travel 588 million kilometers in just eight months, thanks to continuous acceleration at 0.01 g. Upon arrival, a braking burn slows Odyssey into Jovian orbit, its final destination, Ganymede. The colonization begins with the deployment of the Ganymede Habitat Cluster, a series of buried pressurized domes shielded from radiation by meters of regolith. Inside, breathable air, regulated temperature, artificial gravity at 0.9 g, using centrifugal spin and modular farming units. These farms use stacked aeroponics to grow nutrient-rich crops leafy greens, protein algae, and genetically engineered root vegetables. Water is mined from the subsurface ice. Electrolysis provides oxygen. Hydrogen fuels energy cells. This station expands. Domes multiply. A central hub is constructed for communication, research, and command. Everything is powered by fission and backup fusion cells. Solar isn't viable this far from the sun. Jupiter's shadow dominates the sky, and its radiation belts are lethal. But Ganymede's magnetic field and an artificial shield dome protect the colony, the people, engineers, scientists, farmers, doctors, biologists, and security. A total of 400 personnel in year one with the goal of expanding to 5,000 by year 10. Next comes Europa, the icy moon beneath which lies a vast subsurface ocean, perhaps two, three times the volume of Earth's oceans. Europa is the most promising place to find alien life in the solar system. So we go there, not to live on the surface but beneath it. A nuclear-powered melt probe, Cryo Drill 1, bores 10 kilometers deep. It takes 18 months, then, submersible drones are deployed. They explore the ocean, take samples, capture video. And what they find changes everything. Not just microbial life, but complex organisms, tube-dwelling invertebrates, some bioluminescent, feeding on chemical vents at the ocean floor, life. On another world, confirmed in 2104, Europa becomes a scientific sanctuary, not a colony, a base. Staff rotate every 18 months, population, 75, all activity monitored to prevent contamination. Then there's Callisto, the oldest, most cratered surface in the solar system. It's far from Jupiter's radiation belt. It has frozen ice rock terrain, and it's geologically dead, perfect for long-term habitation. No tectonics, no radiation, minimal gravity complications. So we build Haven Colony. The first true city in the outer solar system, self-sustaining within five years, 15,000 people by 2110. Callisto becomes the industrial base, with underground resource processing plants, fusion fuel harvested from local hydrogen deposits, heavy elements mined from asteroid belt imports. Spacecraft constructed in orbit above Callisto, Haven becomes the launch site for the deeper solar system. And finally, Io the volcanic moon, lava geysers, 
hundreds of active volcanoes, yellow sulfur plains, a place no one thought could be colonized, but humans adapt. We build Aegis Staciona floating platform above the surface using magnetic levitation, like an airship without air. It hovers above the most stable volcanic regions, powered by geothermal taps embedded into the crust. Energy is abundant, but the environment is hostile. Protective suits, radiation shielding, constant vigilance, population, 50, purpose, energy research, volcanic data. Testing advanced geothermal systems, IO may become the solar system's energy hubone day. Life on the Jovian moons is difficult. Gravity varies, Ganymede, 0.14 G Europa, 0.13 G Callisto, 0.12 G Io, 0.18 G. So artificial gravity is needed in all long-term habitats. Achieved through rotation or magnetic muscle stimulation in microgravity zones. Communication with Earth is delayed between 35 and 52 minutes one way. So autonomy is key. AI governance assists in decisions, but humans remain in charge. Supply chains are long, so every colony is built to be self-reliant. Closed loop ecosystems, biosphere domes, waste is recycled, water is purified, food is grown on site. Births are rare but increasing. In 2100, the first child is born on Ganymede. Named Juno, she represents a new era, the Jovian generation the people who will call the outer solar system home. Culturally, the colonies evolve quickly. New languages, slang, and customs develop. Jovis speak with Earth accents, but different idioms. They measure time in Jovian weeks 10 Earth days. A year on Ganymede, equivalent to seven Earth days orbiting Jupiter, but people mark birthdays in Earth time. Art, music, literature created under red-orange skies, inspired by distant storms on Jupiter's swirling clouds, visible even from Callisto. Back on Earth, the news from the Jovian colonies inspires billions. Children dream of joining them. Nations and corporations invest heavily. New missions are planned. Passenger ships begin construction. The great expansion has begun. By 2115, 100,000 people live across the Jovian system. Callisto's haven city is fully urbanized, with vertical towers buried beneath the ice. Ganymede settlements have grown into townships connected by underground transit tubes. Europa remains a restricted scientific zone, and IOIO provides power, radiant, volcanic, and wild. New frontiers are on the horizon. Saturn's moon Titanix, Enceladus, then Neptune's Triton, but it all started here. Colonizing the moons of Jupiter, in the year 2100, a century after we first set foot on Mars. Now, humanity spans two planets and four moons, a multi-planetary species, a multi-planetary culture. And this is just the beginning. The Jovian colonies are our first true leap into the outer solar system, and beyond Jupiter lies infinity.